everyone. Today I'll be showing you how to create your own mug toppers. Before you, you will see um, just a few thin pieces of cardboard. I'm going to trace this mug. I'm going to trace the opening and that will be the base of the mug topper. You can use any sturdy material that you have around such as craft foam or foam board or cardboard. Um, this cardboard comes with the fat quarter fabric. It's the piece that the fabric's folded over. As you can see, the mug I'm using is not completely round. It has some slanted sides. This is a mug from the Dollar Tree. I'm tracing the mug top several times because I'm going to show you several different methods that you can use to create your topper. Once again, I'm going to be doing this from the experience of using Deco Den. I don't know if you're familiar, years ago there was a big trend of decorating phone cases and jewelry box tops with um, spackling or um, caulk. And so that's what I'm going to use. I am using a lot of products from the Dollar Tree. This is the spackling. It says lightweight spackling from the Dollar Tree. This is a piping bag that I also picked up from the Dollar Tree. It has several different tips along with the piping bag. So I thought that was a good find. Everything I'm using pretty much is from the Dollar Tree and this cardboard is absolutely free. It's pieces that I keep when I purchase fabric, it's inside. So you're just gonna trim out your circle. It definitely does not have to be perfect just as long as it doesn't fall inside of your mug. Let's see. I also picked up this glitter. It says ornament filler. I'm gonna use it. Of course, it's beautiful sparkly Christmas colors. So if you have glitter laying around, confetti laying around, by all means use what you have. So I picked up these um, table tennis balls, ping pong balls, that's what I was trying to think of, that's where I was going to use it as a filler. Also I picked up these little um, plastic cups, they're condiment containing cups, and so you can put ketchup or different things in it, but I'm going to use it as a dome, I'm going to just glue it face down as a filler. And I also have um, what you use as floral foam. I'm going to just trim it and also use it as another option. And once again, you do want a filler inside um, of your spackling. That way you don't have to use as much for one. But two, if it begins to sink down, it still maintains a cone type shape which is what you're desiring when you're creating your faux food look. So bear with me, I'm using a plastic knife and I'm not making it perfect. I will try to make a little angle in this, just so it's not like a box, but I really don't want it to be that tall, but once again, it is to reduce the amount of spackling that you will have to use. And so I will glue all of these items onto those circles. Just trying to get rid of a little bit of this foam so it doesn't Excuse my glue gun, it is so old, and so yes, it looks horrible, but it definitely gets the job done. So there's the ping pong ball. Add a little glue around the edge of this container. And once again, face down, I will lay it onto the circle. And last but not least, I will take this foam that looks like a little house at this point, and I will add it so there you are, you have three options. Um, some people take out the caulk and mix it in a bowl or in a larger cup, but of course I'm being a little bit lazy. I am gonna add some white paint. Um, 
you'll notice the caulk kind of comes kind of off-white, kind of gray-white or ashy white. So I'm adding a little bit of white paint, which is also from the Dollar Tree, and mixing it up inside this container. It would have been better if I had a little spatula as opposed to this little plastic knife, but it will get the job done. So I'm just stirring and stirring and mixing it, just trying to make it a little bit smoother. It's a little bit chunky as I go. But just mixing it up. No true rhyme or reason. I wish I would have put something down over my cutting mat. I use that mat a lot for ribbon projects. But once again, I just wanted to come on quickly and make this video so you guys will have um, some cute and easy um, Christmas gift ideas. So I'm stirring it in to get like a almost like a thick icing texture not a runny icing texture but thick icing and then I'm gonna spoon or I should say paddle this in with this knife because I did not grab a spoon or a spatula or anything else. I am just using what I have here on hand. Out of all of these tips, I'm gonna use the one with the most grooves. And this just twist off. And then you take it out Put in the tip of your choice and screw it back on. The best way to fill this bag would have been to use a cup. But once again, for the sake of the video, I just begin to fill the piping bag. In hindsight, not the best choice, but it is what it is. So, um, Generally, you want to drape that piping bag over a cup over or something else. So right now I'm trying to use one hand to spoon out things and one hand to hold the bag. But if I have the cup, the cup could hold the bag and then I could make sure the bag stays stable and spoon in the spackling or the caulk. So I'm going to use this entire tub in the bag. And now I'm just gonna squeeze it down so it gets to the tip. And once again, I did not fill it up too evenly, so there's a lot of air and I'm still pushing and maneuvering. This bag is not the best quality, but once again, it came from the Dollar Tree, so it's very soft. And But I do like the tip. That tip had a great design my spackling feels a little bit dry coming out. It's coming out in little pockets of air. So once again, I wish I would have put it in the cup and then spooned in the spackling. But I'm applying quite a bit of pressure to get it out of the tip and I've actually just now broken the bag. So I decided to keep going and I just kind of like a sand castle patted all the spackling onto that ping pong ball and made my dome shape and I'm gonna go from here I'm just gonna go with it and decorate it as is so um, to the right here you'll see some puff paint I'm gonna use it to emulate icing or a drizzle like a um, syrup drizzle Here's the other piping tip, but once again, that bag was trash, so I am going to pick up um, icing bags, either from Michaels or from Walmart, but that did not work out. But I still have the extra tips. Here is a paper straw that I'm going to use as an embellishment. You can pick those up from Dollar Tree or also from Walmart or Hobby Lobby or any craft store. I'm gonna cut the straw, no real measurement, just kind of eyeballing it to make sure that it's not longer than the little dome that I've created. And sticking that in, 
sticks out a little bit taller than I would like, so I'm gonna trim it down some more. And once again, it's a paper straw, so it'll cut really quickly and easy with scissors. And I am just patting that in. I do recommend working with this that you use gloves. Um, after using my fingers in this, I did notice that it tried to cause my polish to lift a little bit. And so I do believe that um, whatever's in that spackling is a little bit harsh and um, you should definitely wear gloves or try not to actually touch it. So here I am just adding this red as a drizzle. No rhyme or reason, just like you would make your own ice cream sundae or um, ice cream scoop and add some drizzling. That's what I'm trying to replicate here. I'm using the tip of the puff paint to fill in any gaps that were created in the little drip that I made. So just kind of swirling the tip around and pushing a little bit more paint through to make it look a little bit thicker. And you can use as little or as much as you choose. All right, from here, I'm just gonna move on to embellishments. I'll open up this ornament filler and use it in the same manner that you would use sprinkles or any other embellishments. I'm just gonna shake a little on here. Um, this is the time for you to get as creative as you'd like in creating the theme that you desire. I was just going for a Christmas theme mug topper, but you could have a birthday mug topper or um, snowman theme, whatever your theme is, just go with that on embellishments. So I'm using contrasting glitters to bring out that holiday spirit right now and just shaking it on. Using what I have on hand, I don't have any faux sprinkles. I don't have any real sprinkles, um, but I do have a few um, embellishments that I will be adding. Be as generous as you like. Just the fun in making things is creativity, so go with what works for you or what you think is pretty. Everyone has their own perspectives. The condiment containers that we picked up earlier are perfect for storing the rest of those um, ornament fillers, so I'll be able to sort this. I picked up that reindeer from Hobby Lobby um, in a little bag set. And these candy canes I've had around for years. I used to make earrings. I just popped the loops off the top and um, I thought they were the perfect size to add to my whipped cream. I think it turned out cute, um, even though it wasn't piped on, that it ended up being just kind of caked onto the ping pong ball. But here you have it, here's an option. I'll come back with the rest of the options in part two and part three. But this is with a ping pong ball center. Hope you enjoy it.